hi everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make your own spring grow sheet this is simple and a bit tricky but i know you can do it so now let's get to the ingredients so guys these are the ingredients you're going to be needing a purpose of flour salt and water these are the ingredients you'll be needing so i added salt into that flour already now i'm going to start adding the water and one thing i noticed about this spring grow butter uh cheat butter is that sometimes it's tricky you because of the liquid you don't have to make them too thick and they don't have to be too watery for you to get a nice butter but i'm going to be showing you guys the consistency that i'm using here okay so i'm going to knead this for 10 minutes and uh, we continue So guys this is after 10 minutes like i said if your butter is too thick go ahead and add a little bit water if it's too watering add a little bit um of flour into it so now my non-stick pan i added a little bit of oil inside which was a mistake because this is this is a non-stick pan so i heated up the pan now i'm going to start um making the uh spring roll sheet i didn't know that my camera was off when i added this one so i'm going to be showing you the process now so each of each side lasts for about five to ten seconds like each side but you can choose to cook only one side okay but i love cooking both sides of the sheet so after then i'm going to place them on my board there and i also have a cover because you'll be needing um well to cover them so this is what you are going to be doing you don't need to add too much of the butter into your non-stick pan but if you don't have non-stick pan go ahead and grease the pan you have with oil okay because you don't want that butter to stick down there so like i said earlier each side lasts for like five to ten seconds don't overcook them okay and you can choose to cook only one side but i just love cooking both sides for that five seconds each so guys i'm done with all the butter this is the sheet this is how many i got from the recipe i did like you need to allow them to get cold before using them okay look at that the it's so elastic guys like and i don't know how to you need to give this a try i know sometimes uh spring roll sheet is a bit challenging but use this process trust me you're going to get them right so that is it guys i'm going to be showing you how i prepare my spring grow with this uh, spring grow sheet but that will be coming in another video because i don't want this video to be super long so and it's amazing guys you know you can get this done at home without buying the frozen one and uh, at the supermarket it's so amazing like making this at home it feels so good guys so i hope you give this a try please share this video if you like it subscribe and uh, give this video a big thumbs up so see you in my next video where i will be using this sheet to make my spring grow yeah Wait for this video guys, you don't want to miss this video.